And hello everybody and welcome back to the stream, or if it's your first time here, welcome. Hope you're all having a fantastic Friday, or whatever day it is for you right now. And uh, yeah, here we are. So, it took two and a half streams to finish the first kindergarten game. We only took about half a, half a chill stream, unfortunately, Wednesday, which is totally fine. But now we're moving on because uh, there's like uh, four months of the year left, right? And we know that Kindergarten 3 is coming out this year, so might as well play the both the first two games before that one drops. And maybe we can catch on with some of the, you know, the hype train of when the third one releases, you know, maybe get, maybe... You know get over a hundred followers you know that'd be pretty fucking cool uh but also these games are really funny and they're very cool and they're neato and i enjoy them though uh i have watched them be played more than once so i know how this plot goes but there's still probably a lot of you who don't really know anything about these games and what exactly goes on in them and uh that you might find them funny as a first experience watching them around here but yeah we're gonna get into kindergarten 2 tonight and i hope uh Y'all gonna have a nice time that I will not be an insufferable uh, prick. At least this one has an order of how to do, th do them. Yeah, at least, yeah, there's like, we'll need less guides for this game. We will need less guides. That is for absolute sure. Um, hopefully this is a lot longer. I don't want this to be completed in two and a half streams. I hope it's at least four streams. That'd be nice. Uh, but uh, we have no way of knowing, so we'll see. But yeah, hope y'all been having a good day. And let's uh, try and get into it real quick here. Oh, wait, I just noticed that my avatar never showed up. Whoops. I thought I clicked on that on my desktop. And yes, Tub is number one, of course, always. He's too humble to admit it, but he is. You on screen? There you are, okay. Also, since we're not playing World of War tonight, I might as well... Move myself a little... Move myself out of the way of the text box. There we go. can't believe Asahi is still in kindergarten. I know, right? What happens when all you do is play sports? Get held back. So I don't know why Monty is in a wheelchair in this game. I know that, like, I don't think we beat... Did we beat Monty? Did we have Monty beaten up in the final ending? I don't remember. I don't think so. But okay, I think I've already said everything correctly. I believe. Like the resolution and all that. Tuesday! Remember last game was Monday. Hey, looks like this is a new save file. Be sure to check out the help section of the pause menu to learn the controls and stuff. Will do. That's also where you can find the mission map. It'll tell you what story missions you can do with the stuff you've unlocked. Let me see it. Aha! Your new room sucks. <laughs> I thought everyone died. Well, that was that was just a me that was a meme ending. The real ending is when you help Lily and uh, Billy. Yeah, that's just the memeing card ending. So the canonical ending of the last game is that the principal dies and everyone else lives. And we uh, stop them from uh, making more serum out of those cre oh, out of those Cthulhu creatures under the earth of this uh, of this town. Start by talking to Dr. Danner. Start by talking to the janitor. All right. Mr. Yanni Tor. Okay, we already get started over the door. We'll start our first day. Okay, yeah, well. Now the Monstermon collection is much bigger, and also the Monstermon collection can lead to uh, an actual game, a mini game we can play. So that I can continue to make Magic the Gathering jokes. The principal dies? That's why Jerome is crying in this game? <laughs> I guess his fucking evil dad is gone. 
Press the button. Nothing happened. Oh, there are also outfits in this game. You can take everyone's outfits when you do their missions or find their corpses. Why did our entire house get renovated in one over overnight? Hmm. Words cannot describe how much I hate the new TikTok-style mobile layout of this godforsaken simp employee having ugly whores streaming <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I need to, uh... Try to, maybe I need to attempt to dual stream the YouTube and uh, Twitch. The problem is that that would, uh, violate my affiliate. That would violate my affiliate, and, um... I don't know if this laptop could really stream to two websites and without exploding. See, it's the women who make the most offensive comments in your chat. <sighs> Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Yep. All right. We can talk to Dr. Danner first. Right. Or we can talk to the janitors. I want to talk to everybody in general first, but not, like, do any emissions yet. Also, the graphics are slightly better than last game. Go away, kid. I don't want to talk about it, you insist. I can't believe it! It's not fair! What's your name? I'm Ozzy, and you're one of those awful new kids. I can't believe my friends got moved to new schools for this. How many were moved? Three! We got a bad deal, if you ask me. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Hey, bugs, you fat fuck. Took my knife, that little snitch. She just made a very unstable enemy. Who are you talking about? The student principal's daughter. She somehow knew I had it on me. Now I have a study hall. This new school is so stupid. Yeah, I'm not interested. Hey, Cindy. This new school is so much more my style, especially the new selection of boys. What do you think? I thought we were together. Sorry, honey, but we're nest yesterday's news. Besides, we both know I'm too good for you anyway. I disagree. You're pretty awful. Easy there, leftovers. We wouldn't want there to be another domestic dispute at our new school now, would we? No, we don't. Hello, my name is Penny. My mom is mommy is the principal. You must be one of the new kids. It's so nice to meet you. You want to be friends? I would love to be friends. Here, you could have this friendship. Bracelet. Uh, no thanks. Oh, that's too bad. Let me know if you change your mind. Will do. I told you already, Teddy. The plan is foolproof. Just do exactly what I told you and... I know, I know. It's just... I don't know, Felix. This whole thing seems so wrong. Ozzy hasn't done anything to us. It'll be fine. Quit being such a... <clears throat> How long have you been listening to our little chat? Not long. Good. I wouldn't want Ted here to get into trouble. Hey! Why would I get in trouble? I didn't do anything. Which is just so typical for you, Teddy. Oh, I'll just save our family's company myself. Good luck with that. Here's Carla. She's the ba she is the the newest based woman in the the series. Hey, you must be one of the new kids. I'm Carla. Do you have any contraband on you? That's a strange question. Well, these are some strange times. I was trying to save you some study hall. No one gets in or out with it, out of here with anything dangerous. They have a metal detector? Yeah, and her name is Penny. That blonde girl is the biggest snitch in school, and she has a knack for knowing who is carrying stuff. How does she know? No idea, but it's unwise to bring anything in these walls unless you have a special way of getting in. Can you get stuff in? Well, if you want to get past the living metal detector over there, I can offer you my services for a small fee. Sure. What do you want to smuggle in? Can't be that hard to smuggle things in. Oh, really, new kid? Here's a firecracker. I'll owe you a favor if you can get it undetected. Forget it. Good call. Maybe you aren't a lost cause after all. Maybe not. Why are you in a wheelchair? Heh, you looking for to buy something? What happened to you? That rotten janitor didn't like that I corrected his spelling, but rest assured he's going to get what's coming to him. 
You're going to kill him? Kill him? Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to destroy him. Um, okay then, Monty. You gonna buy something or what? Sure. What can I do for you? Lighter battery handset. Never mind. Hey there, get on your friendly school janitor. Friendly? Yeah, I'd like to think so. You just let me know if you need any help getting adjusted here. I'm always happy to help. Can I get by here? Sorry, little buddy. Only kids with disabilities are allowed to use the handicap ramp on the side of the school. Okay, then. The one regret I had in my school days is I didn't take advantage of selling stupid things to stupid kids. Can you do a Bob Ross voice? Uh... No. <laughs> I don't even know how to wrap my brain around attempting that. Like, I think Bob Ross voice, and I think, like... I think about, like, attempting to do... Like, his calm, painterly voice, but it always ends... It would always end up being, like, a form of pseudo-ASMR, and I just don't really know how to make my head not do that like I don't really know I really I really I really just can't wrap my head around it really have you seen the boondocks episode of Bob, Bob Ross no I have not help nugget is trapped how did you get down there nugget was searching for a suitable place for the new nugget cave so you crawled through a sewer grate no! Nugget was searching for a suitable place to dig by the tree next to the handicap ramp. The ground started to shake. There was a cave-in! You're handicapped? People seem to think so. Right, so what should I do? Find help! Ask teacher or janitor or principal! Nugget does not care. Just get Nugget out of here! Okay, okay. Sorry, Nugget, we're not doing that. We're gonna go to the mission map. So we can uh, talk about the janitors. Or we can go Flowers for Diana. Or Hitman's potty guard. Uh, let's do janitors. Yeah. Oh, wait, let's talk to the teachers. Obviously. Oh, it's you. How's uh, how's it going? Are you okay? I'm, I'm just great. A little tired, maybe, or something. You won't happen to have any of those pills you had yesterday. Nope. Sorry. Then stop bothering me. The bill hasn't rung yet, so I don't have to put up with you right now. Let her get herself together. Uh, I want to try and do an Obama voice for this guy. Ah, one of the new specimens. Not that we'll be seeing much of each other. Why not? I don't let below average students into my classroom for morning time. Is that even allowed? It is now, with all the redistribution of children and teachers that went on yesterday. It was the perfect time to pitch my plan for separating the below average students. My, uh, fellow Americans, I, uh, have some shit to tell you. It's Demetrius. Redistribution? Yes, why do you think you're here? When one school shuts down, people get shuffled around. So now you're here and three other kids aren't. Stop talking to the science teacher. This lady looks like Hillary Clinton to me. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if this... I feel like this is a thing that everybody who plays this game just inherently knows immediately, but never says anything about. All right, fellow Americans, I am bringing back segregation. <laughs> Do a Joe Biden voice, have a seizure, and forget what you're talking about. Hello, I'm the principal of this fine school. I'm so happy to have so many new students today. There you are. Oh, I know what you're thinking, but I promise this school is far safer than the last one. I don't believe you. I'll tell you what, why don't we have lunch together? My treat, we can address any concerns you may have. No way. <laughs> what a shame, I hope you reconsider. Probably not. Everyone bounces around so much. They're so animated. If this if this world weren't so dangerous, I would say we're a better universe than real life. 
But unfortunately, there are horrible horrors in this universe. Filthy, absolutely filthy. What is it? Are you blind? Look at this place. That other no-name Jad over there has really let this place go to crap. You don't know his name yet? What? No. But I guess I should learn it. If I'm going to drop a kid, go find out his name for me now. Okay. They're animated, but they're still fat people. <laughs> Hello again, little buddy. What's going on? Nugget is trapped in the grate over there. Oh no, that's terrible. If only I had my trusty tool belt, I could get him out of there. Go tell the principal. She'll know what to do. What's your name? Oh, how rude of me. I'm Bob. Most of the kids around here just refer to me as the janitor anyway. You can call me that too if you like. What's his name? Come on, I got a decoration to draw. It's Bob. So my nemesis has a name. Bob. He seems nice. Nice? What are you saying? You saying that I ain't nice? You have a history of violence. A long and ever-growing history. Let's add to it right now. Uh-oh. Damn it. Well, I'm dead. <sighs> oh, yeah. Hard knock life. We, 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 we dead. Oh, man. Man. I have this weird OCD in my head where sometimes I'll restart a game like this and I'll do all the conversations I've already done because I want them to be canon in the whatever context it is that I'm playing the game, even if I've already seen them all. But I'll, I'll, avo I'll try to avoid doing that right now for brevity's sake. Do you have a name? What? No! I lost it in the war! Which war? The best one! Which war is that? The one I was in! Have you been paying attention? Do you have a name? Uh... That's what I thought! So let's stick to the guy whose name we do know! Fuck brevity, that rotten bitch! <laughs> what are you gonna do to him? What the janitor's code of honor says I should do. Janitors have a code of honor? Uh, no, you have the wrong idea. It's my code of honor. I'm the janitor. <laughs> You're gonna do what you wanted to do anyway. Of course, which is, I'm gonna kill him and take his mop. Seriously? You bet, take this declaration of war and bring it to Bob. Return to me when it's done. This will be one for the history books. I guess it will be. Poor Bob. Hello again, little buddy. What's going on? The other janitor wanted me to give give you this. Oh, thanks. I'll read it when I get inside. Go ahead and tell him you delivered it. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to working with him. I doubt that. The janitor resonates with me on a soul level. <laughs> yeah, but he's a piece of shit, too. <laughs> I guess in a universe with no consequences, there's a lot of uh, people that it would be great if you could just kill them without remorse and not care and have no consequences for it. Has it been delivered? Is war upon us? Yes. Excellent. My attack will be swift and sneaky. As soon as he's alone, his mop is as good as mine. I'll be sharpening my mop in the boys' room. Have fun with that. That's the bell. Everyone head inside to your assigned classrooms. Go to class. Okay, kids. Teacher has a headache, so we're going to be very quiet. It looks like this school has more funding than the last one since there are actual the toys. Go play. Just be quiet. Right. So... The janitor said he'll be in the bathroom. Sharpening his mop? 
Let's explore around a bit. What's this? Hey, I know I look like death right now, but my eyes still work. No going peeping through other people's cubbies. Yeah. Destruction was the best toy. Wait. Destructotron. Destructotron was the best toy in the toy box. My friend and I, friends and I used to play with them all the time before you new kids came in. Was the best toy? Yeah, but now he's out of battery. No friends, no toys. You new kids are the worst. I don't care, Ozzy. Fuck you. Piece of shit. The Monstermon card there. My dad drives a car like this. He said that when he drives, my twin brother Felix gets to have it. That's sad, Ted. I just love this doll. She's so pretty, just like me. That's great, Cindy. What do you want? I'm busy trying to figure out how to get my knife back. Probably better that he doesn't have it. Hey, you can't leave. I'm responsible for you little monsters. I need to use the bathroom. Did you ever sharpen candy canes like a shiv as a kid? That's just kind of how eating a candy cane works, though. Like, it always becomes a dagger blade. Like every time or do other people eat candy canes differently in a way that does not turn them into into sharp into sharp implements like a dagger fall no we didn't fall on any daggers slicing your tongue open on a jolly rancher is candy canes is a rite of passage <laughs> Yeah, like, when you start tasting blood from the, the hard candy you're eating, that's when you know, you know, it's time to stop and you have learned your lesson, but you're still going to eat candy later anyway. I need to use the bathroom. Well, too bad. I don't have a bathroom pass for this new school yet. You'll just have to hold it. You don't look like you can stop me. I can still give you study hall. Apparently that's a punishment for stuff here. Fine, I won't go. Uh, what do you want? Never mind. Okay, the only thing I can interact with is just to go is just to go to study home. Go ahead. Uh, ugh. Oh, hello. Lovely weather we are having. Nugget likes the weather. Well, uh, he's bleeding profusely. Hold up, new kid. You're only allowed to use the bathroom. Nothing else. I'm allowed without a pass? Only until we can distribute pass books to you new kids. Now either go to the bathroom or go back to class. Pass book? We use pass books instead of traditional passes here, unless it's a special occasion. They'll be distributed soon. Thanks for the info. Now stop dawdling and get back to class. Okay. Hello, Yanni Tor. Oh, good! You're here! You're happy to see me? It's a weird feeling for me, too! I need your help again, or else I'm fighting a losing battle here. What now? Bob is currently hiding like a coward upstairs, and since my hip is made of glass, I can't make it up those stairs. What do you want me to do about it? I need a key to that elevator! I'm sure that little black market cripple has one. You're the one who crippled him. And I'll do it again if that invalid doesn't give you that key. Tell him that and see if he'll give it. If he'll give it up. He's in that special smart class upstairs. Okay, then. Wait, should I use the stall? No, 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 no. I didn't know we could take a shit in this game. Yep, those are urinals. Sorry, I wasn't able to mute in time. Ugh. There are a couple of spiders on the wall here. I'm not touching them unless I can spray them with something first. But spiders are cool. They're friends. What do you mean? You're right. Your scenes are like explosions. Just wait till you hear them in person. Just wait until you hear them in person. <laughs> It is, uh, it's very violent. 
And even as I speak right now, like a part of my, like the muscles connected to my collarbones right now are immediately sore. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'll need to get ple- I'll need to get plexiglass in my windows. <laughs> I need to go upstairs. Too bad. Unless an adult says so, you aren't allowed up there. You need to go to the bathroom or go back to class. But the janitor... The janitor wants you to go upstairs? He can come and tell me himself. Your funeral. Did you give me that key? The hall monitor stopped me. That grimy little power hungry. Come with me. <laughs> hey, hall rat. You giving my little errand boy trouble? Rules are rules, Mr. Janitor. If you want him to go upstairs, you just have to... I guess I can just beat you like I did the other kid. Then you wouldn't... Would have, then you would have an elevator key. Excuse me? I said I could beat you till they give you an elevator key. Hey, other hall monitor. Yeah, man, what's... Whoa, jeez, you totally wrecked Stevie. And I'll do the same to you if you even think about stopping this kid from helping me out today. Got it? No problem. Do whatever you want, kid. There, it's taken care of. Now go get me the key. I'll be waiting by the elevator. Okay, then. <laughs> Leave Stevie alone. New outfit unlocked. <laughs> what do you want you to do, little man? Getting you in trouble isn't worth getting beat to death with a mop. Good call. Locker is locked. Locker is locked. Locker is locked. Locker is locked. Okay. Wow. Interesting. I don't remember seeing a piggy bank at the be in the beginning of this game. Am I allowed to go in here, or am I just gonna get in trouble immediately? Yeah, no, I, I know. I know what I'm doing. I'm just looking around. I know that I have to go to Monty. I'm just looking around. I don't want to, like, trigger something that gets me killed, so I won't go in the girl's bathroom right now. Leg. This looks like a leg. No, wait, it is a leg. I wonder if the other is around here somewhere. not supposed to be in here. You're a stupid kid. Do you have a key to the elevator? Of course I do. How do you think I got up here? The janitor wants it. The, um, the nice janitor? The other one. Uh, just bring it back when you're done with it. I can't get down without it. I'll try. What are you doing in here? You're not gifted in any way. Get out. Out, I say. I don't... <laughs> If I ever put a brain behind me doing an impression, it literally never works. Yeah, Dr. Danners is, is certainly the definition of five head. Well, where's the key to this thing? Here. Well done, kid. Here's a walkie talkie. I'll be in touch. Great. It is great. I'll let you know how the mission goes. We ride to war. Let him ride to war. Seven head. <coughs> go to lunch. I don't think you can make me. P -p Please go. Honor the wishes of a dying child. For just a split second, that noise made me panic. Like, I actually hit sticky keys. Hey, kid, come and get. What now? Things got a little, uh, sticky. Get up here now. I'm at lunch. Yeah? Well, it'll be your last meal if you don't get up here right now. I don't think I'm allowed to leave. Well, one of the new kids in there must have a way to get you out. Get up here now. I'll have to find another body to clean up. Okay, jeez. I think Carla can probably get us out. But I'm not sure. Hey, Nugget. 
Nugget is getting quite woozy. Nugget misses his arm. I don't want to talk to Nugget anymore. Hi, Penny. I just love making new friends. They don't seem too thrilled to meet you. Hello, child. What would you like for lunch? Nothing. Hey, they saw hamburger instead of slop. This is a caution sign. I can't read it, but I assume the warning is warning me not to slip on this puddle. Okay, there's no consequence for that. Condiment station. The school has everything. I can't believe none of the new boys want to sit with me. I'm still stuck hanging out with these two losers. Good luck with that, Cindy. Two school, same kids to sit with. What's the point of all this anyway? I don't know, Jerome. Burgers are okay, but I actually kind of miss the slop. Me too, Bugs. Normally my girlfriend would sit next to me and my best friend would sit across from me. But no, we can't have that anymore. Stupid new kids. Whatever, Ozzy. KYS in Minecraft. Felix says I'm not allowed to talk to anyone unless it's about business. Sorry. Okay, then. That wheelchair-bound boy was supposed to meet us here. I wonder where he could be. Yeah, I wonder. He's stuck. I love how no matter what you're doing, Nugget is having his own main character adventure without you. Please tell me I muted properly. Yes, I did. Okay. Hey, new kid. How are you liking the food? It's fine. All right. How do I get out of here? Looking to cause some trouble, huh? I can draw the lunch lady's eye away from the door for a fee. <clears throat> do it. You got it, kid. This won't last long, so get out while you can. Got it. Hey, Miss Margaret, look at me. Please, child, settle down. Return to your seat immediately. Hey! Oh, it's you. I guess I'll let you by so I don't end up like him. For the best, yep. I'm eating a few spicy Cajun Pringles. Don't tell anyone. Oh, I just kind of did. <laughs> hey, Monty. Hey, kid, what the heck is wrong with you? What are you doing up here? You took my elevator key! I can't get down to lunch without it. Where is it? The janitor still has it. Okay, that's it. I've had enough of you and him working together. This ends now. It does? Oh my god. Monty is pretty bitter about being left upstairs. Don't get too close to him and he'll leave you alone. Okay. Jeez, kid, you move slower than a kid who was knocked out of a tree under suspicious circumstances. I'm here. What do you want? Well, in case you hadn't noticed, I won the war. Congratulations. I appreciate the support I've had from my allies. That's you, kid, which means we're going to have to clean this up together. Clean up? Well, yes, I am the only janitor. It would be nice to have some help around here. You just killed your help. That's not true. You're my help now. Although there is some time for me to kill my help, so keep that in mind. Okay, so what do we do? I'm gonna get started mopping up this blood. You run down to the weapons closet and get me something to slice up old Babo here. Weapons closet? Yeah, the place where we janitors store our weapons. It's in the boys' bathroom. You're gonna slice him up? Of course, look at him. He's a big boy. Normally, I don't have to deal with big ones because it's harder to remove the bodies. Go find me a cleaver or a chainsaw or something. Okay. Here's the key. Old Bobbo here is learning how to share now that I've won the war. I'll be back. 
goodness, I'm going to have to check into rehab at the... Nope, 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 nobody, nope. Oh, that's the entrance. Oh, oh, oh. What the f fuck? This vat is giving off some dizzying fumes. It's hooked up to a tube that seems to be running to the cafeteria. Leave it alone. That's a chainsaw. This is the janitor's cleaning card. It looks like there's a Monstermon card in the waste bag. Take the Monstermon card. I got an achievement. These weapons are too big for me to carry. The axe looks like it's been used recently. There's a chainsaw and shovel on this shelf. Take the chainsaw. Ah, yes, I can carry a chainsaw, but not a battle axe. <laughs> About time, what did you get me? A chainsaw. Perfect! Let's get slicing. Oh my god. Well, it looks like you got a skedaddle. I'll be in touch. Can't wait. Oh, before you go, here, take this head. You've earned it. Great. Now, let's get you to study hall. Okay. Well, well, well. Look at all the bad children. I expect you all to behave until recess is over. Please take this time to reflect on how to be less awful in the future. All a girl wants is a full-size walk-in weapons closet with pink weapons. <laughs> Uh There is to be no talking or moving until the bell rings, is that clear? Crystal, sir. I said no talking. Oh, and I die, right. That would be a good time to eat an apple. Clever munch, we'll see if it lasts. Okay, yeah. Just pressing one of the arrow keys without even actually moving just gets you killed, yeah. Bitch, how long was I muted? Fuck. Two seconds? Oh, okay. Weird, I don't know how that happened. Hey kid, come and kid. We've got a problem. Where are you? In study hall. You gotta hide that head right now. Find a garbage can and chuck it. There's one in the mess hall. What are you talking about? It's that little penny girl. She's been following you all day. You gotta hide that head and stop her from getting up here. How do you know that? Some kid in a hoodie just came up here and dropped an envelope on the floor. He had pictures and everything. She's been following you, kid. What do I do after I throw out the head? See if there's some way to trip her up on the stairs on your way to the can. Get her to fall and break her head open. How do I trip her? You're in that stupid class, right? Maybe one of those toys will do the trick. I'll see what I can do. I have no reason to believe that I need money. That's so weird because I didn't hit the button. Like, I was muted when he left the room? Like... Stupid study hall! First they take my knife, then take my freedom. That sucks, Bugs. 
There are a couple toys in here. There's a doll and a toy car. Man, Pringles are good. Yeah, Pringles are really fucking good. I love Pringles. The only issue with Pringles is that they don't have the equivalent of purple bag Doritos. Or if they do, I've never encountered them before. If there was a Pringle equivalent of purple bag Doritos, then man, that that would those two would be the only chips I would ever really care to eat if I was stuck on an island. My dad's hand is too fat to fit in the Pringle can. Have you considered that your hands are just tiny? I'm fall asleep? Yep, you, not a problem, dude. We'll see you hopefully tomorrow. If not then, then next week. You have a good night. I guess the toy car might trip her. Did I place the car here? Yes. Oh, look who it is. Um, no. You liar. It is. What did you say? What did you do to him? How could you? I didn't do it. You're just as awful as I thought you would be. You cannot be allowed to stay in my school. I'm sending you to the principal's office. You don't have the authority to... Oh dear, the lights have gone out. I sure hope nothing bad happened. Ah, uh, okay. Purple bag is sweet chili. The Pringles does have that. Oh! Maybe I no-show tomorrow. I'm celebrating my B-Day because my... Oh, okay, yeah, no problem. Happy birthday. Hope you're uh, not uh, as old as I am. Uh, I am, uh, like, uh, seven months from being 30, and uh, that is uh, that is spooky. 27? Oh, okay, you, you're a bit younger than me. Cool. That's good. Should I place the toy car here? Yeah. Alright. Good night, man. You're not supposed to be out of study hall. Ugh, you're not supposed to be out of study hall. Why are you on the stairs? Hey, there's a hazard there. You were trying to trick me. No, I wasn't. Liar, I'm taking you to the principal's office. Oh, man. Okay, I need the doll, not the car. Don't wait until Penny is approaching? I'm 25 and I constantly worry about if I have accomplished enough to be allowed to live. <laughs> yeah, it's relatable. You certainly have, but like... We also have a lot of time left, you know, so... It's Get the car at the beginning. Oh, God! I have to get the car... Oh, God! The apples are you... What? Is it not the doll? Maybe I get the doll. Like, it's, that's kind of crazy to think I have to go, like, way the fuck back in order to... Like, I have to do this whole mission, like, way from the beginning or something?
Uh, okay, I can't. I can't do anything with the doll. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I have to go to the like the first class. One day, Tubbleston will rule the world, and Spudnik Cylinder will overtake Pringles. <laughs> Spudnik Cylinder! <laughs> so I have to get the toy during morning time. What the fuck? Okay, I can only get a fidget spinner. I can't get the car. Oh, Ted has the car. Wait. Oh, I toss the head. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Oh uh, well, I I restarted from a way too far back then, but oh well. Carla. Yeah, I think I think Carla's my favorite in this game. calories and one can of Pringles. That's like almost three servings of my pumpkin and run and rice lunch. A lot of calories. Wait, 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 there's a Monster Mon card. I reset everything, so I need to get the Monster Mon card. Maru bars will take over the world. <laughs> pumpkin chocolate. That that might be good. Not that I have any idea what pumpkin chocolate would taste like.
We have to throw away the head. Fuck! You're not, you're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to move or talk. Oh, uh, oops. Accidents happen, I suppose, like the one that's about to happen. Uh-oh. Did I mute myself? No. You throw it away in the mess hall. Okay. Honestly, he also kind of said that that's what I should do, and I just forgot because I'm a fucking moron, but oh well. Throw away the head. Oh, look who it is. You're not supposed to be out of study hall. What are you doing here? Something is odd here. What's odd? Hmm, after looking around the environment, I've noticed a hazard on the stairs, and I'm assuming you put it there. Uh, no, I didn't. Liar! I'm taking you to the principal's office. Oh, man. Oh, I need to place it, then I need to go, go do the head. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, game. Okay, game. Okay. Oh, look who it is. You're not supposed to be out of study hall. What are you doing here? Looking for the janitor. Oh, really? I was actually looking for him myself. Would you happen to know where he is? He's upstairs. Thank you for telling me. Now go back to study hall. I wouldn't want you to get in trouble. Okay, then. I just heard what I can only assume is an evil little girl falling down the stairs. It would seem so. Good work, kid. You remind me of when I was your age. You mean before the war? What war? Boy, are you talking about- you are talking some nonsense. Never mind. Now get back to that study hall place. That mad scientist looking fellow probably doesn't like it when students escape from there. Good idea. Oh god, green blood. There's a pool of green goo here. It leads to the elevator. There's a solid glob of it on the floor. I'm not touching that. My apologies. Good to see you're all behaving. Ah, there's the bell. Anyone who pays the lab fee can come to with me to science. Otherwise, head over to the gym. Uh, I have no money. Ah, my life is ruined. It can't actually get worse. So what are we doing here? Trying your best not to look like me in 30 years. Go run laps or bounce that orange ball or something. I guess we can do that. I'm gonna go stand over there and try to keep the room from spinning. I wouldn't expect anything less. Hey kid, come and get! What now? We're almost home free! I just need a little help with some er, heavy lifting. You want me to carry out Bob's body? Oh no! He's much too heavy for a small worthless child like you. I need you to carry out that power-hungry hall monitor I tenderized this morning. That's not really my speciality. But you want to carry Bob instead? Fine by me. I don't want to carry anyone. This generation, so entitled, asking them to move one body and they act like it's the end of the world. Fine, I'll take Stevie. Good, I left him in the weapons closet. Meet me out by the dumpster behind the playground and we'll toss him in together. If I must... Hey, you little weasel! You're required by law to play! Now go play! But I have to go to the bathroom. 
Then pee in the water fountain. You're not leaving this gym. Gross. Ah, uh, yeah, go to Carla. Yeah. I'm going to talk to Nugget first. Nugget is having trouble enjoying gym today. Why is that? Nugget's arm is missing. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, want to play catch with me and my brother? Don't invite street urchins to play with us, Teddy. Ah, oh, come on, Felix. The answer is no. Now be gone, street urchin. Good talk to everyone. Only what I wish they would let us have cherry soda. That's too bad. Let go, I want to shoot some free throws. Get in line, new kid. This basketball's mine. Help Carla. Oof! Okay, who did it? Who threw that ball? It was this Jerome kid. He tried to take the ball from me. When I tried to get it back, he just threw it in your direction. What? That's a lie. This kid came over here and helped her snatch it out of my hands. It went flying when they made me let it go. Both of you, shut up. What really happened? Carla is telling the truth. Best girl is telling the truth. That's what I thought. Jerome, do you know how bad my head hurts right now? Not more than the waistband on those shorts, I'm guessing. Okay, now I'm mad. Ow! Hey, stop! Screw this, I'm out of here. Come back here. This is making me feel better. Jesus Christ. Good work, kid. I appreciate the help. You think fast on your feet. No problem. Oh, I can't talk to her again. Oops. But now we can leave. I believe we had to go to the weapon closet? Yeah. Bags look like it fit Stevie in it. Take the bag. It's getting really hard to breathe in here. I'm not sure how much longer I can last. Do I have to throw him outside or something like that? Aha! Um... Aha! Finally, you had me worried, kid. No way I'd be able to move all these poor corpses by myself. Yeah, this is great. You did bring the body, right? Yep. Good, now we just need to toss it in them in the dumpster and this is all over. Good. What the? It's locked! Who locks a dumpster? We gotta open it somehow. We need... <laughs> hey, kid, did you hear that? Or the voices in my head getting a little too vocal again? I heard it. Huh, I think someone is in there. We gotta get them to come out. Any ideas? I'll think of something. This is a green flower. I think I don't know what I need to do to, to make that work. I believe I, we need to get the goo. Yeah. Take it. All right. Dumpster, it sounds like someone is laughing inside. Bang on the dumpster. <laughs> Who's banging on my dumpster? Oh great, a dumpster woman. Everyone was going everything was going so well. What do you nice people want? Do you want to give me some food? We well, yes, to use the dumpster, you old hag. Well, there will be a price to pay. I need something, something more special than food. What do you need? I'm running out of this delicious green drink. You wouldn't happen to have any green goo on you. That penny girl normally has some. Why will we have any of that? That's gross. <laughs> Fucking nerve of this man to say anything is gross. <laughs> I actually have some. Oh, delightful! 
Go right ahead and dump whatever suspicious items you need to. Thanks, Dumpster Hag. My pleasure. You boys have a nice day. Her and the janitor and, th and this janitor would make a good couple. They're both completely insane. <laughs> well done, kid. Looks like we're gonna get away with this. I'm thrilled. There's the bell. Looks like it's time for you to go home, my little apprentice. Go ahead and leave the body here. I'll do the rest. Leave the body. Woo! Well, Nugget's alive still. Hey, kid, wait up. Phew, almost missed ya. Please don't kill me. Kill ya? I ain't gonna kill ya? Well, not today, at least. So what do you want? For your dedicated service today, I would like to bestow upon you the spoils of war. What are you talking about? I got some good stuff off of Bobbo's body. Some cash, a watch, some kind of medication, and this. What is it? It's a tool belt. I don't fix nothing around here anyway. You can also have this thing from that silly card game you kids play. Little guy kind of looks like me. <laughs> okay, well, thanks, I guess. Now scat! That's not what that word means, janitor. If a parent sees me talking to a child, I'm going back to prison. Yep. Now is a good time to leave. My throat hurts. <laughs> New clothing. I now have Stevie's clothing. Well done completing your first mission. Now you can bring the item you unlock with school wherever you want. Head over to the shelf by the door. You can select up the three items to bring. Check your mission map to see which one goes to sp the specific mission. Got it. What to wear. Change your outfit. Yep. 400 cal on the bike. Those Pringles won't make a dent in that. Yeah. They absolutely will not. They will... They will some true energy. Bucket of water. Bucket of water. Ma <laughs> magical. Devolves into a regular bucket when he tips over. <laughs> You'll two damage. Plus two damage if you last discard. If your last discarded card is blue. <gasps> we rummaging, boys. We rummaging. Reduce any monster mon's damage by one. Okay. Lamb with cleaver. Gain three mana if your last discarded card is red. <gasps> oh man, we just we just we just need to cast uh, faithless looting. Holy shit! We get three mana if we cast faithless looting, guys. That's crazy. That's broken. That's black lotus. Block a purple monster mod. Mon. <laughs> this one lamb. This is one lamb worth silencing. Okay. We're going to min-max this game. <laughs> yeah, there's no piggy bank in this game, so. But yeah, I'm going to use the hall monitor outfit because I believe we get access to new areas with this. Yeah, we need act. We need. Yeah, we need. Okay, let's do flowers for Diana. Start by talking to Dr. Danner. All right. Ah, one of the new specimens. Not that we'll be seeing much of each other. Why not? I don't let below average students into my classroom for morning time. I'm not below average. You can't see me pointing at the screen, but I'm pointing at the screen. Oh, really? Then perhaps you'd be willing to prove it. How so? Here's the deal. If you can bring me five different types of flowers for my science class today, I'll let you into my morning time class tomorrow. Why do you want flowers? Plants have a wonderful biology to them. So many possibilities for medicine and energy. 
and poisons and neurotoxins and monster enhancing. <clears throat> Just get the flowers, okay? Fine. Excellent. Don't disappoint me. If you don't complete the collection, it would be better if you don't show up to my science class at all. Why is that? Because if you don't get all of those samples, I'll switch today's lessons from plants to something that involves a nasty dissection. Got it? Got it. Good. Now go get my flowers. Where can I find them? Ugh, your thought process is so simple. Females tend to like flowers. Maybe start there. Any other ideas? One specimen grows in the garden by the handicap ramp, another by the dumpster behind the school. There's one in a vase in the teacher's lounge. The rarest flower isn't even at this school. You'll have to get some love-struck loser to deliver it. Ha 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 ha! You'll never be allowed in my class. So what are you waiting for? Go. Go on your futile errand and hopefully this will be the last we see each other of today. Obama. Yeah, I don't think there's... I don't think I, I'm really doing a good impression whatsoever, but I'm, I'm, I'm sort of trying. We'll see about that. Oh, a word to the wise. You may want to have a chat with the hall monitors before the day gets started. They tend to give people trouble when collecting my flowers. Where are they? Big brain, big boob, huh? Where? Miss Applegate? Yeah, I guess so. I saw them chatting inside at the top of the staircase. So you'll let me in to talk to them? Of course not. Only disabled students are allowed into the school early, and even if you snuck in, the lunch lady would stop you. I'll figure something out. Wow. I think that they won't give me trouble because I have a hall monitor outfit. You don't really need to do a voice for them, it's fine. Yeah, I might cut down the voices for this for this second hour of the stream because my throat legitimately hurts <laughs> from uh, doing the, these scraggle voices. The outfits don't do shit? Oh, damn it, I thought they did. I thought I thought having the hall monitor outfit, like, changes the way the other hall monitors react, but okay. One is in the lunchroom, one is by the dumpster. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna ask... Hold on. I'm not gonna talk to you about boys. Hey, Carla. We talked to the... We talked to the best girl first. Do you have any flowers? Flowers? <laughs> no. Looking to brown nose Dr. Danner, huh? Come see me at lunch. You're gonna want my help. Okay. Hello, my name is Penny. My mommy is the principal. You must be one of the new kids. It's so nice to meet you. Do you have any flowers? Hmm, flowers. Sorry, I don't have any. Maybe another girl has one. Thanks anyway. Any flowers? Of course I do. I have a pretty pink one, but you already know I have that reserved for my new boyfriend. Who's your new boyfriend? I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking about one of those rich kids over there. I'll have my mind made up by morning time. What about the flower? Wow, you're really caught up in this whole flower thing, aren't you? I'll tell you what. You help me get hitched for the day, and it's all yours. Deal. Good. See you during morning time. See you then. All right. No other female students. Oh good, I was hoping to see you. Decided on a boy yet? Yup, the cute boy in the blue shirt and the red tie. But he's too smart for this class. He's in the upstairs class. I want you to take this to him. What is it? Why did you do that? You need to get the flower from the handicap ramp? Yeah, but how? What do you mean? <laughs> I can't do that. Do I need to go... 
Okay, sure, hold on. You ask Monty? Okay, all right. I need to get the handicap ramp. I see. Well, maybe we can work something out. Like what? I'll tell Bob over there that you're pushing me up the ramp for three dollars. Sound good? Sure. Glad you're doing business with you. It always is, Monty. Hey, I need that kid I was just chatting with to push me up the ramp. Oh, all right then. Go on by. I don't actually need your help to get up the ramp. Just go and do what you gotta do. My flower. There's a sign with arrows on it, her. They point up left, up right, up right, left, up. I assume that is a form of Konami code. Okay, so... Up left, up right, up right, left, up. Oh god, I don't know if I can remember this. Up, left, up, right, up. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Well, first I'll read it again, and then... Up, left, up, right, up, right, left, up. <laughs> of course it didn't do anything. What's this? Oh, children are allowed the house before the bell rings. Sorry, I didn't know. Oh. The principal recommends study hall, but I recommend death. I'll take study hall. A wise decision, but your input does not weigh in my decision. So what's your decision? Death. I prefer if you didn't. Oh, I have the lunch lady outfit now. Oh, it's directions inside the forest. Okay. Forced. Excuse me, why can I not... Okay, I don't know why Cindy isn't doing this as normal, but... Banners first, yes. I think that's it for out here, right? I think now we... Okay. Yup, the cute boy in the blue shirt and red tie, but he's too smart for this class. He's in the upstairs class. I want you to take this to him. What is it? It's a love letter. Now go give it to him. How do I get upstairs? I used to hang out with our hall monitor before school started. He would give me passes. I suppose you could try that, but school hours already started. Interesting. <sighs> Nugget is present. No, Nugget is late. So you're getting study hall. Oh dear God, what happened to your arm? Nugget had to chew it off in order to escape from the failed Nugget cave. Why did you... Ah, oh, never mind. Do you want to go to the nurse? You're bleeding all over my new classroom. Nugget is quite durable. Nugget will survive. 
If you insist, go ahead and play or do whatever it is that you do. Oh, Nugget. He got the fidget spinner! So I have to get up to the class. Ow. Ow. Uh, okay. You haven't talked to him yet, actually. Nugget likes the fidgety spinny! What happened to your arm? Nugget, shoot it off like in a trapped coyote to help him escape. Your arm was stuck. No, Nugget just thought it was necessary. Oh. Oh, so you're retarded. That's nice, Nugget. Okay. I'm allowed without a pass. Can you do a serve bot impression? This Twan! Why are all the kids dying? So wait a minute, do I have to half do half of the janitor's mission in order to be able to get up or something? Miss Twan, why is that boy bleeding profusely? Stupid law. St stupid lock. I can't get into the weapons closet. You mean the janitor's closet? Same thing. Stupid new school. Won't even let me get my weapons I need. Leave him grumbling. Okay, so I think I need to do, like, half of the janitor's mission in order to, like... Okay... Hold on a moment. I already have study hall. Oh, well then, I'll send you to the principal's office. Go ahead. Fine, you asked for it. I'm sending you to the principal's office. Huh? It worked. Maybe this place won't be so bad after all. Okay, no, I'm just dead. Okay. Right. Do I have to do the weird thing with the janitor to get access to the upstairs? I guess I have to, right? I don't know how else to get upstairs. So I have to do some of the janitor's thing. You're supposed to do Cindy X Teddy and Dr. Obama at the same time. Right. It's just that I need to be able to get upstairs, and the only way I know how to get upstairs at the moment is by doing some of the janitor's thing. That's all I really know how to do. No, I can't. Okay. I need I need to get a hall pass, don't I? Wait, maybe I can get the hall pass from Monty as well.
Nope. Can't do that. And I can't go in the school or else the, uh, the... I'll get murdered. Maybe I talk to Janitor now. Oh. Okay. Okay, I used to hang out with our hall monitor before school started. Wait, do, do I have to try and find the hall monitor before school? implying she tried to fuck him. I mean, I'm trying to wrap my head around exactly what the answer to the puzzle is. So I have to get passes... So I have to get a pass from him before school starts. I don't know how to do that. Like I said before, I think you speak to Obama and Cindy, then go to Monty. That's what I did. So you're inside the school when the bell rings. Okay, but... I die. <laughs> So, do I have to eat... Uh, I guess I have to eat apples? To be inside the school? Here's talking to them and Cindy, then we talk to Monty. So like, what do I do? Do I hit, do I just eat an apple right here? And then go inside? Yeah, no, this just kills me. None of that, n that does not work. <laughs> like we tried that. Oh, we get the lunch. L okay, I, un I understand now. Okay, you're right. You're right. We have to move the lunch lady with nugget, okay. You are correct. Find out, best cheater or janitor or principal. Nugget does not care. Just get Nugget out of here. Okay, okay. So we need to get the the lunch lady. So if we go, we get caught by the lunch lady. We can we then tell her to go get Nugget. Let's see if that's how if that's what we do. Let's see. Let's go tell the lunch lady now. Will she or will she still kill us? Let's see. Okay, never mind. Okay, I think we talked to the principal and she sends Oh yeah, the principal and the lunch lady are sisters, so she'll send her sister. I remember now. I remember now. 
I remember now. Hello, I'm the principal of this fine school. I'm so happy to have so many new students today. Nugget is stuck in the sewer grate over there. Oh, the little odd child. Yes, I'm aware of the situation. Are you going to do anything about it? Most certainly. I wouldn't just leave a student trapped in a sewer. The fire department is on their way to get him out. Thanks, I'll let him know. Oh, that won't be necessary. I'll have my sister watch over him. Oh, Margaret. Huh? What? Behind you, sweetheart. Oh, how can I be of service? Has the boy trapped in the sewer grate? Go keep him company. Yes, principal sister dear. What the fuck? They're all taken care of. Is there anything else? What's wrong with her? Oh, I'm not really sure. It must be all the new students have her a little on edge. Did she call you sister? Yes, she did. She was having trouble finding a job and I couldn't let the poor thing starve. Right. Yay! We're all that stands between chaos and order, don't you understand? Yeah, bro, I get it, it's all muttering, it's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal? You're not gonna take this serious- <gasps> Student, in the halls, before the bell, study hall, study hall! Jeez, you're way into this whole monitor thing, aren't you? This is your chance to prove yourself, rookie. Take this kid to the principal's office. Fine, I'll take care of it. Go monster downstairs or something. Look, man, I don't really care that you're up here. That little dweeb can fall down those stairs for all I care. He seems a little uptight. No kidding, just stick the little jerk. Why don't you take this? It's good through morning time. He can't do much to you while you're carrying it. Thanks. Now let's get you back outside. Come on, dude. Don't come back in or Stevie will totally flip. Okay. Oh, never mind. Just head down to the class. Get a move on. All right. We have it. For lunch, I'm having a tamago sando and some potato wedges. Low fat tamago sando with my chickpea wraps I made the other day. Ooh! And tamago is a word that I remember. In fact, I think I vaguely remember the stroke order for that kanji as well. Bask in my vast intelligence of memorizing moon runes. All right. Time to talk to Cindy again. I have a pass. I did give you a... You know what? Go ahead. I don't think a jury will convict me over that. Thanks, bye. Hold up, new kid. You're only allowed to use the bathroom. Nothing else. I have a pass. What? How did you get one of those? I won't accept, but I kind of have to. I'm allowed upstairs? Ah, uh, yes, now go. Hey, dude. <laughs> bet you used that pass really annoyed the little jerk, didn't it? You bet. Yeah, we only, we only get one shot in here. I have no interest in discussing trivial things with you. I have a love letter for you. Oh, goodness. I'm flattered, but I must decl- It's from Cindy. Oh, that makes much more sense. You had me worried things were about to get awkward. Yeah, good thing it's not awkward. Let's see here. 
A partner would make me more appealing to potential investors. How awful is Cindy? <laughs> She's pretty awful. Well, then she'll make a pretty good business executive. I accept her invitation. We will dine together. <laughs> good. Here, for your trouble, for your trouble, messenger boy. Ta-da. Uh, thanks. Say, I haven't seen you around here before. Why aren't you in this class? I'm working on that. A man of ambition. I like that. Dr. Denner loves his plants. Those red flowers really are hard to come by. How do I get them? I'd ask some of the adults, see if any of them are smitten with a new faculty member now that there have been additions to the administration here. Thanks for the tip. Dying together. You, you guys eat mystery meat burgers at a mess hall. Yeah, Felix is a fucking annoying motherfucker. Thanks for the tip. What are you doing in here? You're not gifted in any way. Get out. Out, I say. I think you can ask Bob. I think so as well, I believe. Oh, gosh, I didn't see you there. This, this is the girls' bathroom. You're not supposed to be in here. You look a little red. Oh, well, um, you see, I saw this beautiful woman. She had a lovely brown hair and a beautiful purple dress and huge... You mean Miss Applegate? Is that her name? Wow, Miss Applegate. I just wish I knew how to get her attention. Bob is kind of messed in the head if he likes jiggly tits. Yeah. But the... You, you, an, you answered your own quandary. The... Re, the re, like there's there's two there's two very obvious reasons why he likes her and uh he's pretty simple for it but it's completely understandable the boob isn't worth it if it's equal to the foop ratio oh god <laughs> i agree but Bobbo here does uh, not really give a shit. So, if I want the red flower, I need to get it from Bob by doing this, I believe. I think. Why not get her flowers? Think she would like that? Yeah, yeah, I'll get her flowers. Thanks for the tip, kid. No problem. If I leave now, I could be back in time to give them to her at recess. Good plan. It's hip to waist, not tit to gut. <laughs> Whoa there, little man. You shouldn't be in here. I'm not going to ask any questions. Just go to lunch. Go to lunch. My word, she is a handful. What's wrong? She wants something vegan, but I don't know what the devil that even means. Neither does she. Well, you'll have to help me find something she'll eat. This is all you're doing anyway. I'll figure something out. Good, just remember to bring it to me, not her. We're trying to make me look good here. Got it? Poor Teddy. He's still vegan, huh? I mean, it's been one day. Like, we have this temporal power to relive our day dozens and dozens of times, but for them, on, in this timeline, it has been one singular day. Oh, yeah, you're right. I said... Yeah, I forgot... I got their names mixed up, okay? They're both, you know, rectangular-headed blonde kids with suits and ties, okay? Like, I just got them mixed up in my head. No kids land on the teacher's lands. Now go finish your lunch. I need to get in there. I don't care what you need. I'm not moving unless there is a monitoring emergency. A monitoring emergency? Yes, a monitoring emergency. I deal with them on a daily basis. You never know when delinquency or tardiness will strike. 
okay? Hold on. Yes, can believe it or not, I occasionally do my job. Yep. Remember, I'm helping you save Teddy and yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, that's what I prefer. I would like that. So, do I have to get Carla to distract Stevie so I can go and get the flower in the teacher's lounge? I think that's what I have to do. Hey, new kid, how are you liking the food? Do you have any flowers? Aw, poor new kid, already suckered into helping Dr. Dino with his silly plants. They're so observant. However, there is one in the teacher's lounge. How do I get in there? Stevie is pretty easy to lure away. All I'd have to do is leave without a pass. Are you willing to do that for me? Of course! For the right price. How much? Since I'll be getting study hall for this, I'll, it'll run you five dollars. Do we have a deal? Okay, hopefully this does not fuck up the other quest. Deal. Excellent! I'll give him the runaround for the rest of lunch. Good luck, kid. Hey, Stevie! What? Um, oh. Hello, Carla. Can I get a pass to the bathroom? No, you can't. You already used yours today. Well, then it looks like I'll just have to go outside, then. Hey, come back. It's not recess time yet. Fuck! Well, well, well. Look who it is. Seems that Stevie is slipping in his duties. How's my flower collection coming along? Have you found any yet? I have found one. Oh, really? That's more than I expected. I suppose you are in here to collect the flower in the vase over there. Yup. So be it. Make it quick and get out. I have to check on something outside, and I'll be damned if I let a child stay in the teacher's lounge unsupervised. Got it. Okay, so he doesn't ha he, he doesn't kill us for being in here. This vase has a yellow flower in it. Take it. All right, I've entertained your presence long enough. Get out. Okay. Sheesh. Hello, child! What would you like for lunch? Got anything vegan? Oh, yes, I should have seen this coming. You new students are so picky. I shall return in a moment. And he leaves. Uh, okay. Monster Mon card! Well, what do I do now? <laughs> I I have a feeling that if I... Oh, wait, no. If I, if I grab this... She will come back around and kill me, I think. Do I just eat an apple here? Come on, Felix. You said you could get me anything I wanted. Where's my food? I am working on it. Patience, you'll get your vegan nonsense whenever I say you'll have it. Boys are so stupid. What's it take to get something vegan around here? Walk away. I guess maybe I just eat an apple? You know what? I'll risk it. I want to see if anything happens before me doing this. Uh, yeah, yeah, she kills us. You naughty child! You should not be behind my counter! It is forbidden! I'm sorry. You have violated my sacred space! For that you must pay! I am sending you to the principal's office! I don't want to. Ah, yes, sweet darkness! I wonder what awaits you! Yeah, that's just death. Okay. I will not do that.
My god, Obama just passed through me like a ghost. Please tell me you found something, Chili. She's becoming insufferable. I'm still looking. Okay, let's just eat an apple. Nothing else to do that I can think of. I can't do both of these at the same time. I cannot do these at the same time. I cannot do this quest at the same time as each other. Be gone from the cafeteria. Anyone who has disobeyed our lovely principal today shall report to study hall. All others may go play at recess. Go to recess. Huh. <sighs> okay. I am uh, afraid. Ask her for food be- Oh, you're right. You're right. That's so intelligent. Oh, I was yelling about that in chat, but Twitch was not letting you do it. Ah, uh, I see. You you know, you, you were you, Twitch put you in the you know, the internet space where no one can hear you type. Yes, I understand. Okay. Patience, child. You wouldn't want me to have a nasty fall. I wouldn't? No, you wouldn't. Pretty child, so impatient. We will wait for the janitor to finish his work. I will make the food then. Okay. Okay, now the lunch lady goes. And I have three apples this time instead of two. Okay. Yay! You have returned for your picky food? I have. There you are, child. Please enjoy your rabbit food. Excellent. Please tell me you found something, Shelly. She's becoming insufferable. Here you go. Brilliant. Excellent work, errand boy. No problem. Here you are, darling. A nice vegan meal for you. Aw, thanks, sweetie. You're the best. Now you just need to do one more thing for me at recess and we'll be official. Can't wait, honeysuckle. <laughs> oh, God. You can tell he has no idea how to respond to this situation. Leave before they start making out. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. She is being absolutely wicked. What now? She is insisting that I do something horrible to one of the other girls, but I'm not much for getting my hands dirty. So you want me to do it? Of course. Cindy already told me that you want that flower for Dr. Danner. It's as good as yours if you destroy Penny's self-esteem. How do I do that? She has quite the eye for contraband. I say, take this and plant it by the tree with the beehive. What's this? I'm not really sure. All I know is that it was in a s safe in our summer home. Father probably doesn't want it found. So I put it by the tree. Yes, once you plant it, I'll let her know it's there. When she's under the tree, shake it until the hive falls. The bees will sting her and she'll look awful, just like Cindy wants, okay?
Don't go on the gray rocks. Oh, I see. I thought I was trying to, like, reach. Okay. Cool. I don't know if I go get the green flower first or do the thing with Penny first. Plant the contraband. The tree is quite large. It has a beehive hanging precariously from a branch. Good day, Penny. Hello, Felix. It is a good day, isn't it? The sun is shining and the... Yes, yes, cut the chit-chat. I heard a nasty rumor that one of those nasty new children has hidden some contraband by the big tree. Oh, no. I'll look for it right away. Oh, my. There's certainly some contraband around here. I just need to find it. Ow! Oh, it hurts! Help me! Help me! Mommy, please! Oh, she opens it for me. Bloody good show. Sydney will be quite pleased. I'm happy you're happy. Music to my ears. Those bees did a great job on that awful girl's face. Can I have the flower now? Of course, a deal's a deal. Thanks for hooking me up with the walking gold mine. I'm sure we'll be very happy together. You deserve each other. Oh, wouldn't you look at that? The little snitch didn't take the contraband. Well, I wouldn't mind if you wanted to keep it. Perhaps you could find another use for it. Like what? Well, I've seen Father's associates sell large quantities. Perhaps there's a buyer nearby. Yeah, sure. Um, Miss Applegate? Huh? Oh, it's you, the new janitor. What do you want? These are... <clears throat> These are for you. You got me flowers? Why, that's the sweetest thing anyone's done for me that didn't involve pills. Come with me. But what about the flowers? Leave them. And then they go, fuck. <laughs> this is the bouquet of flowers Bob got for Mrs. Applegate. It is made up of red flowers. Take a red flower. His tie is pretty stifling in this heat, but Felix says a professional always looks his best. What's up with this rock wall? It's pretty neat, right? Just don't climb on any gray rocks. They're unstable. Ah, uh, right, right. Nugget thinks this would be a good place for the Nugget Cave. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I can't be. I can be a little defense about this whole not being able to walk thing. What do you want to sell? This stuff. Um, I'm not going to do it yet. What kind of clientele does Monty have that he sells weed? <laughs> yeah, to children. Well, we know he t we know he sells and buys from adults because he does that with the uh, original janitor. He probably sells cigarettes and weed to uh, the hall monitor as well. Take the flower. Cool. So I believe we have all five flowers now. As necessary. I don't know if there's any point in selling the contraband, but I will do it. Hehehe, <laughs> where did you get that? <laughs> oh, jeez, kid. Whatever you're doing, you're in way over your head. You want it or not? Yeah, yeah, sure. How's five dollar sound? Deal. Pleasure doing business with you. I don't need anything. That's the bell. Let's all go back inside. No stalling. Anyone who wants to pay the lab fee can go to the science classroom. Everyone else meet in the gym. Only five dollars? What a ripoff. I'm glad he cri he's crippled. <laughs> Go to science! Welcome to the science class. Today's lessons will be about plants. Please observe the common plant in front of you. Observe the plant. 
Notice how it is neither carnivorous nor poisonous, because the PTA is a bunch of cowards. Feel free to take a sample and look at it under one of the microscopes. This one won't do much, but it could if Ozzy's mom wasn't such a wimp. Ah, I almost forgot. One of you was supposed to get, get me some flower samples today. Did you manage to get them all? Yup. You did! Well, that is most impressive. I didn't think a lowly student such as yourself could manage it. So do I get an A? We'll see. I'll be right back. What the hell is that? The BDA said you can't do stuff like this anymore. Oh, all of you shut up. This new student has actually managed to get all the specimens needed to allow Diana to grow, and there's no way the PTA can stop me. Got it, Ozzy? Got it! Now we're going to be feeding her the flowers in a very particular order. Um, where did I leave those notes? Damn, I left them downstairs. I'll be back momentarily. Feel free to observe the boring plant while I run out and grab them. How did you discover the order? What? Oh, it just came to me while I was gazing around the room. I'll be back with it shortly. Don't touch anything. Blue, yellow, purple. Also up there is orange, purple, red. So is it just blue, yellow, purple, or... I don't see a green, though. So is it this? Is it purple, orange, green? Oh, I understand. Okay, I think I understand. Because these these don't all complete themselves, but if you look at them together, they uh, form a sequence. So we have blue, yellow, purple, orange, green. So. Blue. Yellow. Purple. Red. Green. I found my notes. We can now begin. My word, she's absolutely radiant. Did you... Did you actually feed her the flowers in the right order? I guess so. I'm stunned. I never would have expected such ability from a simpleton such as yourself. Thanks, I think. Suppose you have earned an A-plus for the day. You are welcome to join my advanced class for morning time tomorrow. You are also welcome to have the silly card from that game you play. I love QP. I'm touched. Well, there's the bell. I'll be seeing you all tomorrow for morning time. I guess you will. QP. Collect the specimens, yes. Do new things unlocked. That's a bunch of monster mon cards. Let's get the stoner's outfit. That's the lunch lady outfit. Is it Mystical Tomato an actual no-shit Yu-Gi-Oh card? There's a lot of things in Yu-Gi-Oh that are so bafflingly weird and stupid that I wouldn't be surprised. Monstrous... Monstrous Flytrap. Plant. For one mana, deals two damage. Or for something else. Reduces a blue Monster Mon's damage by three. Whoa, they got the color pie right. Holy shit. How many do you need for a deck? In this game, apparently we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We need at least 10. We 
The only known species of plant to actually hunt down its prey. Right. Mystical tomato. Zero mana, one damage! It danger! It's zero damage for one damage. That's gut shot! That's banned! And then it reflects a blue monster mon. The key ingredient in mystical ketchup. Okay. Castle of Sand. Artifact! Vegetable, plant, bees. It's an artifact! Oh, boys. We're, we're, we're casting Simulacrum Synthesizer. Oh, boy. Deal three damage. Plus two damage if you have less hit points. It danger! That's five damage for two mana! Reflect a red monster mon They really just did the color pie and matched the gathering. That's hilarious. That's very funny. Except instead of uh, white and black, they have yellow and purple. <laughs> Which is very, very funny. Because it is completely stupid. Okay! Now we can either do this or this. Uh, I guess we do this, right? I'm gonna be honest, are we capable of making a deck immediately? And just having a five card deck? Like, is that possible? It probably isn't, but... The castle is cute, but why is it sad? Because it has to stand around doing nothing. I guess. Okay, uh, do we just, uh, let the stream hit 10 o'clock and just be done? Or do we go over time by, like, 10 minutes trying to figure something out? Probably better just let it be done, right? Oh, we can look at this from anywhere, okay. Okay. I've sat forward. Right, let's go look at it a little bit. Why not? So... Start by mission by talking to Felix, then to Ted. I told you already, Teddy, the plan is foolproof. Just do exactly what I told you, and... I know, it's just... I don't know, Felix, this whole thing seems so wrong. Ozzy hasn't done anything to us. It'll be fine. Quit being such a... <clears throat> How long have you been listening to our little chat? Not long. Good, I wouldn't want Ted here to get in trouble. Hey, why would I get in trouble? I didn't do anything. It's just so typical for you, Teddy. Oh, it'll say... I'll just save our family's company myself. Good luck with that. Oh, hey, I'm Ted. Why aren't you in on Felix's plan? Because he's a good-for-nothing disgrace from my family's name. I'm sorry, Felix. I just want to help. I can do this. Maybe I can explain better during morning time. I'll be in the regular class. The stupid class. Ah, the stupid class. If you want to talk, then. Okay, see you then. Okay, cool. I can't wait to get this started. Now that I think about it, we can start now. What are you trying to accomplish? Just help me with this one part and I'll tell you the rest during morning time, okay? Okay, what do I need to do? Well, we're gonna need to distract Ozzy during morning time. Talk to him and see if you can figure out what will draw his attention. Okay? And I'm gonna need someone who I can stage a fight with. Probably a girl, although with... Although... Although with the rezoning, I'm not sure if there are any in the, uh, dumb class. I know a dumb girl! Teddy, you can't pull this off. 
I'll handle it. Let it go. I'm gonna try. You'll see. I can't believe it. It's not fair. What's not fair? The rezoning of my friends. All of them but me moved to a new school to make room for you jerks. How many were moved? Three. We got a bad deal if you ask me. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Asshole. What's your name? I'm Ozzy. And you're one of those awful new kids. I can't believe my friends got moved to a new school for this. How many were moved? You're a fucking piece of shit. What do you like to do? I like to play with my favorite toy, Destructotron. He's so cool, or he used to be. His battery ran out. Not that a new kid like you cares. There aren't any other batteries. Not unless one of you new kids is selling, though. Unless, until then, my favorite toy is just a dumb paperweight. Stop talking to Ozzy. Yeah. We can buy uh, the thing from Monty. I'm not going to talk to you about boys. <laughs> hey, uh, you looking to buy something? You're still selling stuff? Yep, it's going to be a struggle, but I fully intend to keep my business running. I'll buy something. Battery. This is a battery. You can power small electronics and toys. It'll run $2. Deal? Yeah. Glad you're doing business. Always is. Ted wants your help with something. Oh, how forward. I've only been here for like five seconds and I'm already being propositioned. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Well then, he'll just have to go through a little test. Here's some gum. If he makes... If he makes... If... If he makes it find its way into the girl's hair, then it's a date. I'll let him know. I don't like it when a man keeps me waiting. I want it done before the bell rings. Chop, chop. Okay, I have the battery, I have the gum. I don't... I want to put it... I don't like putting it in either of the girl's hairs, because I like both of the characters. So is there a girl you could set me up with? Yep. Ew, why did you give me some chewed up gum? Stick it in a girl's hair. What? That's so mean. But my plan. Will this girl go along with my plan if I do this? I think so. Okay, I guess I'll just stick this in Carla's hair. Why not Penny? No! Uh, I mean, Carla is mean sometimes. She deserves governor hair more than Penny. Okay, go do it. Uh, I'm really sorry about this, Carla. Sorry about what? You haven't done anything. Oh, so that's how it's gonna be? Well, you just made yourself an enemy, Ted. I'd watch your back if I was you. I'm really sorry, but I have a really elaborate plan to... Get away from me! <laughs> oh man, she seems really mad. I feel terrible. This is your plan. I know, but can you just get over there and see if she's okay? Maybe we can make it up to her later. I'll see what I can do. Oh, that was wonderful. You're gonna be an excellent boyfriend. Yeah, okay. It's all coming together. I'll see you in morning time. Good grief, Teddy. It's fine, Felix. My plan will work. You'll see. Walked away from Ted. Hey, Carla. Ugh, what the hell is wrong with Ted? He has came and stuck gum in my hair. Anything I can do to help? That's nice, kid. I appreciate it. I could use some scissors to cut this crud out of my hair. Where can I get those? Upstairs, but since you're in the less gifted class, it'd probably be easier for you to get them at lunch. Okay. Thanks, kid. Here's a vending machine coupon. I would do it myself, but I'm not allowed to use the machine anymore after I started counterfeiting these. Cool. Did I properly mute myself? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, right, I can go to the smart class now. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the advanced class. If you are here, you have proven to be smarter than the other slugs you call peers. Please try to use this time constructively. Einstein was building ray guns in kindergarten. So should you. Actually, Einstein was a fucking autist who could barely play the piano when he was a kid. <laughs> Didn't stop him from trying. He kept trying. I think he played piano when he was uh, an adult. 
even though he was really bad at it. Remember to fill out your daily assignment on the computer, or assessment on the computer. Plus, if you take it, you'll you get a school mandate mandated prize because we can't have learning without incentive anymore. What a world! Good luck with that. Can I leave? Where do you think you're going? You haven't completed your assessment yet. I need to go to the bathroom. You're not allowed to go until you've taken your assessment. Get back there and be assessed. Uh, okay. Oh, right. Let's talk to Carla. Yeah. I'm going next to the computer. I'll keep it'll keep me on Dander's good side, okay? Hello, are you enjoying the gifted class? I guess so. Me too. What is your favorite science subject? I mean, if I'm trying to if I'm trying to answer this in real life, um between these four, I mean, I like space. Plants chemistry kind of the same thing. Magnets are kind of fucking weird. Robotics are cool, I guess. I guess I'll do chemistry because it sort of underlines like this and a as well as other things. I like chemistry too. My mommy has been working on some neat chemistry stuff with Dr. Danner. I think it's some kind of green goo. What's it do? I don't know, but I'm sure it's neat. Sure, I'll talk to you later. <clears throat> Please do not adjust the lesson plan for today's science class. Sorry. Go take your assessment, okay? I have to wait. So I, I assume I have to wait, right? I was kind of exploring right now. What's the point of science? I can't bring my dad back. It'll be okay, Jerome. Your dad was a fucking monster. Darn it, none of these pots I'm looking for. What are you looking for? I'm trying to find something to upgrade the precision of the laser cannon on my chair. I'm going to use to make that janitor suffer. Good luck with that. Okay, I guess I have to just eat apples. Wouldn't the dad kill Jerome anyway? I think so, yeah. Hey, what gives? This is just a box of cleaning supplies. I thought we were getting prizes. The school mandates that I give out prizes. It doesn't mandate that they have to be good prizes, so I just grab something out of the janitor's closet. What a total ripoff. Hey, Carla. Take the assessment. Thank you for taking your assessment. Please take a pic of the cleaning supply. I mean, prizes. I have no idea which of these I need. I'll take the spray bottle, sure. There you go. Enjoy your prize. Now go do some smart child thing. If you must leave, it would be nice if you asked first. Fine. Okay, hold on. I'll walk all the way up to you and ask if I can leave. Oh, I can't. Okay. May I leave? Yes, that's quite all right. Just be back before the bell rings. Can do. Hey, dude. Oh, hey, man. We're not enforcing pass rules until lunch so all the ki new kids can figure out where to go. That's convenient. Uh, yes, scissors. We want to help Carla out. We like Carla. Carla's best girl. Oh, I think we... Wait, wait. Do we... Uh, well, wait. Maybe we just talk to her at lunch. Hold on. <laughs> you will not be going in and out whenever you see fit. You've already left once today. You will remain here. Fine. I should have gotten a bunch of stuff, I guess, then.
I hope, uh, you know what, I should actually restart this room. I took the toilet paper. Whoops. I did I was hastily going through it and then I took it on accident. Oh, I see. We can buy the scissors for her or get the coupon. Okay. All right. Buy scissors. Book. Okay. All right. Now I think we can uh, do this. Yes. I hope you all learned something new today. Please go to lunch. Yep. Okay. Talk to Carla. Hey, locking the food. Okay. Why can't I give you the scissors yet? Wait, did I need to talk? Uh, what happened? What did I do that fucked this mission up? I'm actually confused. What did I do to fuck this whole thing up? Oh, wait! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm so stupid. I understand. I have to go to the dumb the dumb class to talk to uh, Felix uh, Felix again or uh, Ted again. Oh fuck! Wait, let's talk to Ozzy first again. Yeah, bat. All oh, right, we need the battery. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, you're here. Felix has this scheme that's gonna help our family's company, but I have a better one, and no one wants to listen to it. What is it? I'll tell you, but you gotta promise not to tell anyone, though. Felix will be so mad if his plan gets ruined and it's my fault. I won't tell anyone. I want to use you to kill Ozzy. Kill Ozzy? We heard about what happened at your old school. We know that you're, um, capable of. We know what you're, uh, capable of. I don't know what you're talking about. No, it's cool. I'm cool with you being a murderer. That's why we wanted to recruit you. So you want me to kill Ozzy? I don't... I... Well, Felix does. And I... I want what Felix wants. Yeah, yeah, I want you to kill Ozzy. Okay, what's in it for me? Felix doesn't let me know about the family money. I just assume that he's gonna give you something really expensive if we pull this off. How do we kill him? Well, I want you to give him an asthma attack. He uses his inhaler a lot. He keeps it in his cubby. Why do we need Cindy? We're gonna need a long distraction. I figured we could pretend to fight or something to draw the teacher's attention, and you could grab it. Let's get that inhaler. Right, but first we should ha we should handle Ozzy. You got something to distract him with, right? Yup. Good thinking. He'll move to the other side of the class to play with Destructotron. Go give him that battery, and then we can talk to Cindy.
was best toy. Can have this battery. Wow, really? Thanks. Maybe you aren't so bad. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna go play over by the toy box. I'll see you around, kid. With Ozzy out of the way, we're ready to make our move. When we start the distraction, be ready to grab that inhaler. Let's do it. Also, Felix didn't get a chance to empty his cubby before going to the smart class. There's some stuff in there that might be worth grabbing. Like money? No, no, no. The money is my cubby. Felix is the right of Ozzy's. Oh, got it. Anyway, let's go start a distraction. Lead the way. I just love this doll. She's so pretty, just like me. We need you to cause a distraction. Oh, really? Sorry, sweetie, but I only do something that for my boyfriend. Ted will be your boyfriend. Yeah, remember? We need to put on a show to distract the teacher. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my kind of date. Are you ready to go, then? He is. Yeah, let's go. Be ready to grab that inhaler, kid. Follow me, boyfriend. We're about to have our first spat. Are you ready, sweetie? Ready for what? You haven't told me anything. Just play along. I've done this a million times. Play along with what? This doesn't... How dare you! Ow! Hey, that hurt! You're a jerk! Well, there's more where that came from. Hey, Cindy! Stop! Knock it off right now! Take the inhaler. Take the stuff. Okay, okay, I'll stop. But if, but I'll kill him if he ever does that again. Not good enough, you little brat. You're going to get study hall for this incident. It was worth it. <laughs> I hate Cindy. Did you get it? Please tell me you got it. I got it. Awesome. You're really good at this. Thanks. Now what? Now that we took away his lifeline, we have to use stress him out enough to trigger an asthma attack. What stresses him out? Ozzy's a bit particular. He likes to do things a certain way. If we can break his routines, he, can, he should start freaking out. Where do we start? Lunch, he does a lot of really specific things there. It shouldn't be hard to throw, off, throw him off his game. Okay, then. Attention, new kids. Here's your passbook. If you get an adult to sign it, you're allowed out in the holes. Don't get any crazy ideas, though. You're only allowed to use it once per day. Got it. Go to lunch. Get out of my classroom. Go to lunch. Oh, there you are. It's time to move forward with the next stage of the plan. What is it? What the devil are you talking talking to him for? What are you two doing? Oh, uh, nothing, Felix. I'm just going to show the new kid where the forks are. Follow me, new kid. Okay, Felix can't know what we're doing this. Can't know that we're doing this. I want to do it just the two of us so he knows that I can take charge of stuff. Okay. In a few minutes, Ozzy is going to leave and use the bathroom. You need to take the stall on the left. That's the stall he likes. So what? It'll stress him out. That's the name of the game here. We just have to keep putting pressure on him until he cracks. Now go to that stall and wait for him. Okay, geez. Oh, Felix is watching. Here's a fork so we don't look suspicious. Uh, thanks. Also, did you talk to Carla? Will she forgive me? She wants scissors. Of course. Well, you should probably do that while you're out as well. Good idea. Not gonna lie, guys. We, uh, we saw quite a bit, but uh, it is hella overtime. So uh, thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We will be back tomorrow to continue this game. Hopefully I will not immediately forget the entire sequence of stuff we just did here, but oh well, if I do, that's funny, I guess. But uh, otherwise, we're just going to continue this specific mission. We can't we we can't save it halfway through, obviously, but but we, we'll just, we'll just do it all tomorrow. Skip through the dialogue, yada yada yada. Uh, if you happen to be new here and you enjoyed spending time with us here tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours, and this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where we'll join every single stream I've ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the about section. And yeah, we, we basically went max overtime because I was just tunnel vision, visioning, trying to do more of the of the quest. So I should really get out of here and uh, let y'all off the hook. So thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate your support in every capacity. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. I will see you all again tomorrow with more Kindergarten 2. Ciao!